Hi, this is Julie. In this video we're going to talk about how to write numbers using words. And in this video we're going to focus on numbers less than 1,000. So when you're writing numbers with words, first of all we'll just go over a few things about uh, the spellings of some of the words that we're going to be using. Um, of course for single digit numbers we're going to write the number using the name of the digit. Um, so you can take a look at the spelling of each number here. There's a couple that are a little bit tough. Um, but you'd want to make sure to uh, to learn those words and be able to use them correctly. Um, so those are the numbers or the digits 0 through 9. For uh, two-digit numbers, we do have some special names for each group of 10. So of course one group of 10 is just 10, but if we have two groups of 10 uh, that means we have 20. Uh, three groups of 10 would be 30. Four groups of 10 would be 40. Five tens is 50, 6 tens is 60, 7 tens is 70, 8 tens is 80, and 9 tens is 90. And again with some of these words here we have some irregular spellings, you know 40 is spelled a little bit differently than the word 4, we take the U out there, um, for 50 uh, a little bit different than the spelling of 5, uh, and then of course you know 2 tens becomes 20 with an E. So Again, good to look at these words, learn the spelling of them so that you can write out word names properly. There's also some special names for the numbers between 10 and 20, and again there's a couple of spelling things that come up here. Um, so of course 1 greater than 10 is 11, uh, 2 more than 10 is 12. We get into some interesting spellings here with you know, 13, spelled pretty differently than 3, um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, again good to learn those spellings. Uh, one last thing with two digit numbers here is that when we write two digit numbers um, we want to write the name of the tens group and then we're going to follow it by however many ones there are and we're always going to put a hyphen in between and that's going to be true for every number between 21 and 99 so not for the teen numbers um, but all of the other two digit numbers 21 to 99 that have two parts to them are going to be written with a hyphen so what we mean by that is if I'm going to write the name or the number 23 in words uh, let's see here I'm going to write out, um, I have two tens and the name for a group of two tens is 20. And then I'm going to put a hyphen and then the number of ones that I have is three ones. So I would write out 23 in words, just like I would say it actually. Uh, to do the number 49, again I want to pay attention to spelling here, 40 is just F-O-R-T-Y, no U, and then I'm going to put a hyphen and then I'm going to write 9 because I have 9 ones. So 49 would be written like that. Now when we get to three digit numbers we're going to follow the same logic. We're going to write the number of hundreds groups followed by the word hundred. And then we're going to use the rules that we just went over to write the tens and ones digits. So for example um, and think about how you say the number too. For this number I would say 583, so I would write 500. And then 83. And again I'm going to use a hyphen here because 83 is a number between 21 and 99. I'm always going to put a hyphen in between uh, the two parts of those numbers. Here's the second example. Um, this time I have 766. So I'm going to write out 700. And then for 66, same thing again. I'm going to put a hyphen in the middle of that. Um, note that I have not used the word and here. So oftentimes in conversation or when we're just saying or reading numbers we'll say 500 and 83 or 700 and 66. There is no and in those um, spaces in between the hundred and then the tens and ones group. 
Um, the reason for that is because when we get to talking about decimals, um, the word and is going to be really important, and the and is going to signify uh, sort of the break in between the whole number and the decimal part of the number. So when we're just talking about whole numbers, we're not going to use the word and at all. Okay, let's look at a couple of examples here. Um, again for just writing some bigger numbers. So I'm going to write the word name for 634. It's actually going to sound just like I just read it. So I have six hundreds. So the first part of this is 600. And, uh, and no word and here. 34 and again hyphen in the 34. So 634 would be how I would write that number. Here's another one. Now this time I've got a zero in the number. Um, if I'm reading this number I would say 705. Note I don't say 705 and it's really tempting to do that and I make that mistake too. Um, but it's not what we want to do. So I just want to write 705 looks a little bit funny, sounds a little bit funny at first, but that's exactly how I want to write that number, 705. Okay, let's do one more example here. This time we have uh, the number 490, and this time I've got a zero, but it's at the very end of the number, so it's not going to affect the way that I write out the number quite as much. So I have 400. And then for the tens and ones, I just have the number 90, so I'm just going to write 90. And because 90 only has, there's only one word part there, I don't have to use a hyphen anywhere, and I just write 490. So that is how we write uh, the word names for small numbers, so numbers less than 1,000. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we write word names for numbers uh, 1,000 or greater.